This is all logic gates explained in piggy build mode. The link hub. Here I have a setup and I will try to link this lever to all of them. But it looks like I have reached the limit of 10, but it also recommends a link hub which I will do now. Now this is what a link hub does it lets you exceed the limit, so you can activate more than 10 stuff at a time. And there I pass the limit. This wouldn't be possible otherwise. But other than this the link hub doesn't really have any other use. The knot gate. Here I have a lever linked to a knot gate to a door. And here is just a lever linked to a door without a knot gate. It simply opens the door when activated. But a knot gate will do the opposite of whatever it does without it. As you can see it closes the door instead of opening because it's a knot gate it does the opposite. If you were to link it to something like a light it would turn off the light instead of turning it on. Just as the opposite and that's it. Now for the timer gate. As you can see here there are two doors one with the timer gate and one without. And if I open the one without it works like normal and opens automatically. But with this one you put a specific time on the timer gate and when that time is up it activates. But that is it just counts down to a number you choose then activates. Now the OR gate. Here is the setup to levers going into a OR gate and the gate to the door. And what this does is. Either lever can active this door. Even if both are on, this gate just needs one input to activate, and also it doesn't have to be just the levers here, it can be any amount like 5, any 5 of those would turn this on. So this gate just basically turns on if a minimum of one thing is activating it. XOR gate. Same setup as before, but with the XOR gate. As you can see if I press one lever it opens. And so does the other. But if you activate both at the same time it does not work. It only activates if only one thing is activated no more no less. More than one doesn't work, but now that's it only activates if one thing linked to it is. And before I continue with the rest please subscribe. I am almost to 20,000 subscribers and it would mean a lot and maybe I can make more of these type of videos. Who knows? But onto the video thanks. Here we have the same setup but with the engage. And I need to activate both to activate and open the door. If I only activate one it won't work. Just everything that is connected to the in gate must be activated to activate like if you have 5 levers all must be on to activate. But that is about it. Randomizer gate. So I have this set up a lever to the randomizer and it to all 3 doors. And this will show what it does. When activated the randomizer will randomly select one of the doors to open. And you can change this amount if you wanted to select the doors every time if you wanted to. But this about it for the randomizer it will just randomly select one everything you connect it to. It's in the name really. The flipper gate. So this is just a lever to the flipper to the door. Here you can see the active, linked here you can change, how long do you want it activated for. So let's say I want this door to stay open for 5 seconds I put 5 seconds in. And so you can put in any amount and it will stay activated for that much amount of time. Like if you wanted it only open for a minute put a minute in there. But that's about it for this gate. The if gate. This is the setup. Now you want to select some of these and you will only be able to activate the door if you are doing or have what the if gate says. But for my case I'm going to make it so I can only open this door if I have Apple.
And as you can see it cannot open the door no matter what I do. But if I go grab this apple, now the door will open because I did what the if gate has. But you can see I can freely open and close with the apple, but I don't have it it won't work. You could also make owner only rooms with this if gate if you just put the option on, or infected only rooms. But there is just a lot of options you can choose from, but that's it for this gate. The modify gate. So here I have a weird setup but bear with me it will show you what the modify gate can do. So a lever and touch trigger both to the end gate to the teleport block and what I want to do is teleport bunny when I flick this lever but not myself. But this is without the modify gate. It teleported me but I wanted bunny to teleport so this is where the modify gate comes in. So if I add a modify gate here and link the lever to the modify gate and then the modify gate to the end gate, and then turn on the setting on the modify gate, it will forget that I trigger the lever, and the only other thing that triggered it is bunny so bunny will be teleported. And just like that it worked. You could also do this to people if other real people are on the touch trigger you could teleport them or kill them with a death block. So basically this gate can let you do stuff to other things like NPS or players without you being affected. But that is all of them please subscribe we are almost at 20,000. We can do it.